Travis Shane Ford is an American college basketball coach. He is currently the men's head coach at Oklahoma State University Stillwater. He was previously the head coach at Campbellsville University, Eastern Kentucky University, and the University of Massachusetts. Prior to that, he played at the University of Missouri and the University of Kentucky. He also played the character Danny O'Grady in the 1997 movie The Sixth Man playing career. After attending Madisonville North Hopkins High School, Ford entered the University of Missouri in 1989. He played basketball for the Missouri Tigers and was named to the Big 8 Conference All-Freshman team. The following year, Ford transferred to the University of Kentucky. He is still known at Missouri as Travis the Traitor as he was a highly touted part of a good team there with fellow standout Anthony Peeler. He sat out the 1990-91 season due to transferring to the University of Kentucky. After playing sparingly his sophomore year, Ford was a starter during his junior and senior years, and set school records in single-game assists. Single-season three-point field goals and consecutive free throws made. Ford was named to the All-Sec team his junior and senior years and was recognized as the Southeast region's most outstanding player in the 1993 NCAA tournament. After an unsuccessful attempt at an NBA career, Ford landed the role of Danny O'Grady in the 1997 movie The Sixth Man, starring Marlon Wayans and Kadeem Howardson. Coaching career Campbellsville University in 1997, Ford was offered the head coach job at Campbellsville University. Ford accepted the position, and in 1999 led the Tigers to a 28-3 record, earning Mid-South Conference Coach of the Year honors. Eastern Kentucky University in 2000, Ford accepted the head coaching position at Eastern Kentucky University in Richmond, Kentucky. In five seasons at EKU, Ford led the Colonels from a 7-19 record his first year to a 22-9 record in an Ohio Valley Conference Championship in 2005. In a much-publicized first-round NCAA tournament matchup with his alma mater, the University of Kentucky, Ford's team pushed the Wildcats to the limit before losing 72-64. University of Massachusetts after the 2004-05 season, Ford accepted the head coaching position at the University of Massachusetts Samhurst. During his first season, 2005-06, with the Minutemen, Ford posted a 13-15 record, 8-8 in the Atlantic 10 Conference. The 2006-07 season saw Ford coach Umis to the fifth most wins in school history with an overall mark of 24-9. The team shared the Atlantic 10 Conference regular season title with Xavier, going 13-3, but lost to St. Louis in the second round of the Atlantic 10 tournament. After earning a number 4 seed in the postseason NIT tournament, Umas defeated Alabama before losing in the second round to eventual NIT champion West Virginia. The team featured Atlantic 10 Player of the Year Stefan Lasma. After the season ended, Ford's name was circulated as a long-shot replacement for the head coaching position at Ford's alma mater, the University of Kentucky. These rumors were put to rest when after the season on April 10, 2007, Umas announced that Ford had signed a five-year contract extension. The 2007-08 season was arguably even more successful for Ford and Umas. The team finished the season with a 25-11 record and a 10-6 record in the Atlantic 10 Conference. After losing in the A-10 tournament to Charlotte, Umas accepted an invitation to the NIT for the second straight year. They defeated Stephen F. Austin, Akron, Syracuse and Florida to make it to the NIT Finals. In the NIT Finals they lost to Ohio State 92-85. Ohio State had made the previous year's NCAA championship game. Despite the team's postseason success and the previous year's contract extension, Ford would leave the next season for Oklahoma State.
Oklahoma State University on April 16, 2008, Ford became the head basketball coach of the Oklahoma State Cowboys. In his first season, Ford led the Cowboys to a 23-12 overall record, with a 9-7 record in conference. Ford led Oklahoma State to its first NCAA tournament appearance since the 2004-05 season. In the tournament, Oklahoma State beat Tennessee before being knocked off by Pittsburgh in the second round. In year two, Ford's Cowboys finished 22-11, 9-7 in conference. The year was highlighted by wins over a top-10 Kansas State on the road and a home win over the number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks. Big 12 Player of the Year James Anderson was instrumental in both wins and became Travis Ford's first Cowboy to be selected in the first round of the NBA draft. After two mediocre seasons with a knit appearance followed by a year without postseason play Ford reeled in big-time recruit Marcus Smart. The Oklahoma State Cowboys finished 24-9 overall, 13-5 in conference. Ford's fifth season was highlighted by a huge win in Lawrence, Kansas against the University of Kansas Jayhawks, the first win by OSU at Kansas since 1989. Marcus Smart was named the Wayman Tisdale National Freshman of the Year and Big 12 Player of the Year. The Oklahoma State Cowboys earned a five seed in the NCAA tournament but failed to advance after a disappointing loss to 12 seed Oregon. Travis Ford had three key players announce their return for the 2013-2014 season in Marcus Smart, LeBrian Nash, and Markle Brown. Head coaching record, Asterisk Campbellsville forfeited nine games in the season due to an ineligible player.